with the problem with that is that <clears throat> there's no righteous people anywhere. You know, that's not your fault. I mean, you're doing everything you can to contact righteous people. There just aren't any. They don't have it in them to do good. It's not in their heart to do good, only to do evil. And that's not your fault. Yeah, but um, I feel like it makes. I really feel like crap anyway. It's the thing that's. You, you feel what? I, I, it's, I, it's torturing me to not be able to well, do more. It's, it's, yeah. I know. It's, well, that's the thing. It's just, I know. Just since months, that's the way. I, that's the way I feel. Well, that's because you're so righteous. See? You have an obligation. You feel there's an obligation to help me, and problems should be solvable. But some problems aren't solvable from a certain approach. It has to be a different approach. And this particular problem is going to take several people, several different um, help in order for these circumstances to change. So just to take that on yourself and say you're going to be all those people rolled into one, it's kind of unrealistic, don't you think? Because you would have to have, you, you would have to have um, financial resources to do that, and you don't. Yeah. But you have, would you have enough financial resources to enable me to continue on until that situation does come around? And it will. If we can just wait for it, it will come around. Yeah. I'm hopeful I feel when I go there to pick up that envelope and I see that you sent me money, it just makes me feel like there really is hope for this situation. But what if there was no envelope and what if there was no martini? What would I do? Just think about that. I wouldn't have any hope at all. I would be out on the street just holding up a sign all day long. There wouldn't be any way to get out. But God, I provided you. He sent you to me. You're the open door. You're one of the open doors. The main, the main door is you. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So just pray for me. I, I try. I because I tend to, I tend to feel bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see that. So, I will pray for you that you just don't feel. Um, that you have fallen short or that you yeah, I feel no matter what. Yeah. No, no, no. You've done all that you can, my gosh, you've given me half your money. So uh -huh. yeah, that's the reason why I'm asking you to pray because uh, because uh, I, I, I feel like uh, I feel like not not big at all. Really. Well, you are big, believe me. You're a giant. Among among midgets. Uh, but uh, yeah. I'm just explaining so you would know what to pray. <laughs> because well, because I it, I don't, it's not that I want to torture myself. It's not that I have the plan of torturing myself. But that's what I do. Yeah. Well, you know, just think just think about it for a minute. Who's doing more than you to help me? No one. No one's doing anything, in fact. You saw that fake Christian who I managed their money, and he was my friend all that time, or he wanted me to think he was, until the money was gone. And even then, I, I guaranteed him I would get it back if he would just help me. But he didn't even have enough righteousness in him to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay? I mean, that's the kind of people there are out there. And of course, I knew that. I'd even told you that before it happened. Mm -hmm. That, that, that these people that you deal with, this business, this kind of situation, they're just fair weather friends. They're only your friends as long as you're making them money. Mm -hmm. When you stop making them money, they become your enemy. And that's tr that's always true. I've never known that not to be true. So, uh, you know. Yeah, this, uh, so you know that this false guilt trip is coming from far. Is, uh, is something that is, you know, since I almost, well, since I am five or six years old, 
That's the fact. That's a fact. And and um, of course, I would love to be more effective, but you know, um, it's not because you know uh, you know the situation like it is. Uh, but it says that I'm very I'm very severe towards myself. I'm I'm more than a severe sometimes, and so you know. So, um, no. Well, Maxine, the current client, Teresa, I got from your post, mm-hmm. from your Craigslist post. Mm-hmm. So you got that client for me. No, I'm just, uh, I'm just explaining that this is, this is a part of me that when some, it's like, when I should die, even though I did everything I possibly could to save his life, even though I took those crappy vaccines, and that, for uh, after uh, when he died, for the first uh, four or five months, uh, was I was almost eating myself. Well, that's that's not being realistic. That's not really what the situation was. You I understand. I understand, but you know, I I guess that. It's, 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 it's really, yeah, it's just uh, just so you know what to pray for is a tendency to to have a false guilt. That's uh-huh. what it is. I will pray that you not have a false guilt. Yeah, I need that because it really is a big problem. It really is because it is clouding my mind and uh, I could be more productive if would, I would not have this cloud over me all the time. Well, this part, um, you're just a tireless advocate Wait. who is constantly helping me. I mean, it's just the most incredible phenomenon. I'm just um, in awe at you that I have such a, an ally in this struggle that I'm undergoing, and I know it's all spiritual, mm-hmm. and if it weren't for you, the demons would totally take me over, I'm sure, and so you're the one who is really, that they're thorn, a thorn in their side, I mean, they're trying to destroy me, you're trying to build me up, mm-hmm. uh, and we've got this um, stalemate going on right here, to where... I'm not moving forward, I'm not really moving backward. The demons are taking as much from me as they can. You're giving back to me as much as you can. And uh, almost through it, I would be probably twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 ahead right now if that market dish didn't fall an insane way mm-hmm. seven days in a row mm-hmm. when it should not have fallen it's seven days in a row. It should have gone maybe three days and then started to turn around in time enough for me to recover the loss. But it just continued to fall. It should have done that. I can explain to you what happened mm-hmm. you know, once you learn the methodology. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I can see from looking at the results, studying the methodology, what I should have expected from that fractal pattern. But there was satanic manipulation involved that never should have done quite that bad. Mm-hmm. I never should have lost all the money. Mm-hmm. Some of it probably would have been lost, even given the uh, fact that I had it all invested, but uh, some of it should have been recovered. So it was a total loss, and that tells me that, yeah, there was definitely a behind that. And, and the consequence is I sit here, you know, in McDonald's mm-hmm. and still don't have a place to live. So mm-hmm. Satan planned well. And uh, he's keeping me down, but then we're recovering again because we've got another client mm-hmm. who's probably going to be starting this week. I think that money will probably be um, credited to her account from that check sometime this week. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to see about that casino guy and see if I can get him to come here. That would be just great. Mm-hmm. And then we have Ty, the, uh, the, black uh, guy. the black guy, who would be like my protege almost. Uh, or at least I would be the one who is offering him an opportunity that he's probably not likely to encounter in his lifetime. So no. we'll see it as three open doors, plus you, of course, your you're open door number four through 500. So um, I think we have a lot to look forward to. 